Okay, one other thing I'd like to say is um, to talk a little bit about heat and soil temperature. This has to do with when you're planting outside, when it's okay to plant. But when you're planting inside, it can be really helpful to have a little of extra heat underneath your seeds. And an amazing trick I learned a couple years ago is that the important temperature is what's underneath the seeds, not the temperature that's around the seeds. So you can buy these heat mats. They're a little bit expensive, um, but once you have them, you have them forever. This mat holds a whole flat of seeds and you plug it in and it warms, it gently warms the flat from the bottom and it keeps those seeds nice and warm. When you have heat underneath some seeds, um, you can get seeds started you know, much, much more quickly. Seeds will start on their own without having heat underneath. But one thing that's nice for me is when I use heat mats, I can actually start my seeds out in my garage, even though it's like 35 degrees in my garage. Doesn't seem like it would work. But because those seeds are on heat mats and they're being heated from underneath, that's all the heat that they need. I then have lights on top of my, um, on top of my seedlings. A lot of people just like to start their seeds right in the window, and you can do that. Sometimes uh, plants get a little bit leggy but if you don't have access to um, seed starting lights, that's just a fine thing to do. A trick though about uh, grow lights is you don't actually have to have a, a grow light from the store. Those are quite expensive. And grow lights have the full spectrum of light in them, both the cool and the warm spectrum of light. If you're growing something inside that's gonna be flowering inside, some kind of flowering fruit, and I'll just say, it, for example, marijuana, um, you have to have that full spectrum of light. But if you're just starting vegetables, they only need cool spectrum light to get started before you set them outside into the ground. So that means you can just use a regular old fluorescent bulb, which is kind of amazing. Sometimes people in their kitchens have those, you know, underneath the counter um, fluorescent lights, and you can just start your seeds right there. That's all the light that they need, which is pretty cool. There is an important time though as to when to put seeds out. There are, I mentioned there are cool season vegetables and there are warm season vegetables. So um, anything that has to do with um, leafy vegetables, your lettuces, spinach, things like that, those are cool season vegetables. Any of your root crops are cool season vegetables. So carrots, beets, potatoes, those can go out earlier, about a month earlier than other vegetables can. So we have something called um, zones, growing zones in the United States. If you're up in Alaska, that's about growing zone three. If you're down in Florida, that's about growing zone 12. Here in Ohio, in our part of Ohio, we're in zone 6A. And so that tells us when our typical frost date is in the spring and when our typical frost date is in the fall. That's what those zones are all about. Here in our part of Ohio, it's changing now because of climate change, but typically our last frost date in the spring is May 15th. So cool season vegetables like lettuces and root crops, you can plant out before May 15th. You can plant them out sometimes as early as late March, uh, radishes and things like that, peas. Warm season vegetables, things like tomatoes, cucumbers, all of those flowering, fruiting vegetables, you have to put out after May 15th. But you can start them inside ahead of time. And a lot of those fruiting vegetables, you like to start four to six weeks ahead of time. The way that you know when to start vegetables inside is you just look on a seed packet. I'm gonna show you a seed packet here. You can get all the information you need on the back of a seed packet. It's going to tell you when to start them indoors, or if you're going to start them outdoors, when to start them outdoors. For example, these are cucumbers, and it says if you're sowing them indoors, start three to seven weeks before the anticipated transplant date, which would be your frost date, May 15th. If you're sowing them outdoors, sow them when the soil temperature reaches at least 60 degrees. So this was another trick I learned. You know, you, you'll see on seed packets, it'll say 60 degrees. I thought that meant when it's 60 degrees outside. That's not what it means. It means when the soil temperature is 60 degrees. So remember, they need that heat to germinate. 